Hello everyone and welcome to Valamore Things. Feel free to follow me to see more of my content. Thank you and I hope you'll enjoy the video. Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So, it has been a lot of time since we last played Affinity. But something, something happened lately. Basically, I don't know if you do the same as I do, but every single day I browse through this well-known um, internet website called MTG Goldfish that shows um, the metagame of various formats from standard to brawl, commander and whatever. And of course, even modern. And that's the main source that I use to analyze modern metagame and see what is happening in the game. <clears throat> Sorry. But back to us, what I found is that lately um, one deck was rising in popularity a lot and in every single league that we might want to check out there was one, at least one, of that deck participating in that league or challenge. And guess what? The deck and naming is Affinity. So stay with me and because we're gonna check the last leagues and challenges in from MTGO and see if one Affinity deck is there or not. Affinity, the first deck that comes up 9 October. Affinity from Chad ESQ. And we only have one so far. Sleevers, what the heck? But as you can see, Affinity is there. Let's check next league. And if you're scrolling down, we can see that no affinity here. That's strange. Did I miss it? Yes, probably, but whatever. Challenge. Affinity. As you can see. Not, a, not bad. 19th place. Not bad. Another modern challenge. Let's see if we can find an affinity. Affinity. 18th place. Not bad. Modern League. Let's see if we can find another affinity here. Ooh, we're not finding any. Yes, double affinity, Shivan Toothless. Yes, two times 5 0 the same day with the same list. That's a Just Sky affinity. We'll talk about it later. Another League affinity, Just Sky 5 0. So as you can see, another another affinity here, just guy, Surrender Monkey. Uh, spoiler: This guy got his trophy by defeating me in an affinity mirror at death in the league we're going to see today. So let's click on here and see how many affinity decks are popping up. As as you can see, every single day there's at least one affinity, at least one affinity popping up into results. And I think uh, most of the credits uh, should be given to the Nectar. I don't know if this guy is a streamer or a content creator, but this guy has been the one creating and playing Affinity since day one. And he never stopped. Even if results weren't that great, he never stopped playing Affinity. And this guy is, yeah, he's a very good Affinity player. I faced him many times. By the way, as you can see, we can go deep down a few weeks and as you can see, Affinity is almost there. I would say that the month of October started the Affinity revolution. As you can see, so many people are playing Affinity and even more, even more, even more. So I decided that since basically this channel started off as an Affinity channel that it was time for us to go back to good old Affinity. So here we are with Just Sky Affinity. Well, it's kind of more like an 8 cast from Legacy, rather than an Affinity, because we only have like 6 cards with the Affinity for artifacts, uh, say, in their, in their card. So it's not really affinity as it used to be with, you know, uh, Mirror Enforcer, Frogmites and whatever. But it's more of a 8 cast, as I said. So, what about the mana base? We have, of course, Darksteel Citadel, one random island, just in case we have to pick it up from, I don't know, something that destroys lands. We need at least one basic land. 
Razor Tide Bridge, two Seacrum Coasts, four copies of Spire of Industry because we play a lot of blue, and of course, Yurt Saga. <coughs> Sorry about my voice. We have a ton of zero mana artifacts, Memnite Ornithopters, of course, Mistress Bubbles because we play Emery, Torment Script because that's a nice thing to have and to play back with Emery. We have Portable Alls because it's very, very good against Ajani and Psychic Frog, and it's a very nice removal and hard to deal with. And that counts towards Improvise for both Kappa Cannoneer and Metallic Kebuke. And of course counts as an artifact for many other things. We then have our Saga 2 box, which is Lava Spur Boots, of course, Piffing Needle, Shadow Spear, and four Springleaf Drums. We play one Cranial Plating, which is kinda randomish, but this time the list is not mine and I found it in the internet on MTG Goldfish, as I was saying. And I must admit that this card especially is probably one of our finishers uh, all together with Kappa Cannoneer. I will play two and maybe play Tamio, but we don't have unlimited slots, so that's it for now. And we're going to see how this will perform uh, as a one copy. We then have the full playset of Emery, Lurker of the Lock. This card is very strong, especially combined with Mishra's Bubble or Tormo's Script or whatever we might want to play from our graveyard. We then have Metallic Rebuke, which is essential because we don't want to fall under the One Ring and we need to have an answer to that podcast because that's a two for one for basically one or two mana, not bad. Kappa Cannoneer is our main finisher. Um, I know they are mismatched, but at the time I bought them, this was the most cheap the, the cheaper version possible, so <laughs> that's why. And yeah, Kappa Cannoneer is our finisher. It's a new card from MH3. And it's very, very good with mostly unblockable every single turn. Ward 4 makes it unkillable and we can easily cast it on turn 3. Or even turn 2 with a bit of luck. And of course, Thought Monitor, because that's the best affinity creator in the entire format. What about the sideboard, guys? So we have four copies of Damping Sphere against probably Eldrazi and a Storm. We have one more Pify Needle. Pify Needle. I don't know how to pronounce that, but he's there for Psychic Frog and the One Ring mostly. And the main reason to play this deck is Whip Flare. This card is basically says GG against Boros Energy. Because it deals 2 damage to each non-artifact creature. And guess what? We don't play any non-artifact creature. So we can flood our board while <coughs> we don't worry. Uh, we don't have to worry about, you know, killing our own creatures with Whip Flayer. That's a one-side Pyroclasm and that's so good. We then have two Force of Negations because, well, we need to answer sometimes and to interact. We then have Consign to Memory, super good against the One Ring and Eldrazis, and Glass Casket, that's another nice artifact removal, hard to deal with, that can pick up even three mana creatures, which is not bad. Um, okay, I think that's all we need to say about this deck. Let's see how this will perform in action. So here we are finally playing with Affinity and I am so excited. We are on the play, we start off with Dark Steel Cheetel and we are keeping Misha's Bubble down. Opponent is playing probably Demir Murktide. So I have a Saga and... But I... I'd rather play Emery and see what happens. Maybe my opponent is wasting a removal on Emery. So, opponent gas Priordain. By the way, we, f we saw a Fault Scour, I think, with our bubble. Yes, and I don't know why my opponent didn't want it to draw. Or oh, maybe they, they didn't have the mana. By the way, my, since my opponent is stepped out and we saw another bubble in the top there, uh, we just play Kappa Cannoneer. 
And at this point, my opponent is, well, basically dead. I don't know if they can do something about the Kappa Cannoneer. We even have Saga, Thought Monitor, uh, another Emery. We can just destroy our opponent. And <laughs> they conceded so easily. So as you can see against Demir Merktad, if we are on the play, and we start off with an early Emery, and we can keep Emery on the battlefield alongside Babel. We're gonna draw so many cards, have so many artifacts on the battlefield. And as you can see, this was a turn four, uh, a turn three, Kappa Cannoneer. My opponent couldn't do anything. And we even had your the Saga down. Fat Monitor drawing two, uh, another Emery coming down, probably next turn. Bubbles, bubbles, draw, draw, draw. My opponent only has five cards in hand, so no way to contain the Kappa Cannoneer that was already a 7-7. Seven, seven. I would have made a construct, so 8-8, eight, eight, and that was GG next turn. So my opponent cannot kill the Kappa Cannoneer thanks to Ward 4. We have to have a counter spell or they are done. So that was an easy win. Let's check out the next game. This time we are on the draw. About the sideboard, I boarded out uh, one Memnite and I brought in, oh, I can never remember what, oh yeah, the, I, I brought out the Memnite and I brought in the glass, two glass caskets and I'm playing, that, playing at 61. So I'm glad I have the Tormod script here. And next turn, perhaps, depending on what my opponent does, we can try and slam probably the Fat Monitor before the Kappa Cannoneer. <coughs> I'd rather resolve the Cannoneer. My opponent doesn't have Bow Masters so far, so we have four artifacts. I could have played the Fat Monitor, but no reason to do that now. They go Psychic Frog and we try to rebuke. Opponent will probably counterspell that. And since they counterspell the rebuke, we are happy because we can just portable hole and slam a Kappa Cannon here and win the game. Probably. Yes, that's the portable hole. And yep, we can just slam the Kappa Cannon here and bring this game home. I mean, we now give a chance to our opponent to play a Merktide. Oh, Deluge. Oh, that's nice. I now decide not to play Fatmiter into a counter spell and I exiled my opponent's graveyard, but they ha oh, they played the Oculus. They filled it already, so so now I have both Cannoneer and Fatmiter. And I try the cannon here first to see if... Oh, it, it resolves. So at this point I can even try and play the Fault Monitor. But I don't. I want my opponent to commit before doing anything. Harbinger of the Seas. That's okay because my artifacts lands are still artifact lands. Just They are just islands. So I play a Razor Tide Bridge. At this point, I could have tried and played the Fault Monitor, I guess. Yeah, I could have. I could have. Opponent who wants to block with Arbinger. So at this point, I'm gonna try and play the Shadow Spear. Opponent with Counter Spell. Sure. I could have tried and played the Fault Monitor here. I don't know why it didn't. My opponent had to counter spell. By the way, I don't know if they have a chance to kill the Kappa Cannon here. So what are they doing? Aborant Hokulus, okay. And a Psychic Frog, but they are open for a counter spell. Maybe they don't have it. Maybe I just throw another Kappa Cannon here. So at this point, I try and play another Kappa Cannon here. Mm, 
Yeah, there's a dog barking outside. I don't know if you're hearing that. If you are, I'm sorry. So I played a Kappa Cannoneer and my opponent conceded. And that was an easy win for us. Super easy win, I would say. <clears throat> I'm really excited. This deck is already proving to be very effective with removals, counters and big beaters. That's different from the all-in version that we used to play back in the days with uh, Beanstalk. But that's interesting. Let's see how this will perform in the next match. So here we are against Surrender Monkey. Spoiler, we lost this game because it's a mirror. And I misplayed, but you will see what will happen in this game. I think the replay button is already fucked up, but that's it, I guess. So what do we do now is probably Secron Cross into Memnite, into Top Turn to Emery. Replay button is not working, so just wait a sec, please. Yeah, so I'm back online. What happened is that we played Emery. But as you can see, my opponent has a natural Tormod script against our own Emery. And that is a trouble. So I wanted my opponent to sack his Tormod script. But I should have probably... Oh no, I, I couldn't have. But they had the portable all. So... Mm, and they are... They are going crazy with Mishra's Bubble and their own Emery. And we don't have an answer. So my opponent's hand was really better than ours, I would say. So not much to do. Okay, the, back to us. And we drew a Saga, which is not bad. We can probably try um, Saga into Kappa Cannoneer, and that's it. Most probably, yes. They have four cards in hand, and they will draw so many things thanks to Emery. They can just outvalue us. Okay. So. My opponent disconnected. I just played the Kappa Cannoneer and passed the turn. Back to my opponent. What will they do? They have Saga. They go Bubble and they play their own Kappa Cannoneer. So basically, my opponent is mimicking what I have, but they had a Tormod script to exile all of my things. So they have an online Emery. With Babel, and they can even play Photo Monitor from the graveyard. While uh, <clears throat> at this point, we are much behind them, and their Kappa Cannoneer will outgrow ours. So let's see what we draw. We draw Kappa Cannoneer. So here I decided to play a construct and stay open for Metallic Rebuke, but I should have played the Kappa Cannoneer here. I could have. One, two, three, four, five. I should have played another Kappa Cannoneer instead of making a construct. And that's the first mistake that led to my de de defeat, sorry. And yeah, so that was the first mistake uh, I made in this game. But let's see what my opponent does. So, Saga up to two. Portable hole, yes, of course they have another portable hole. We have zero, they have two. So in mirror matches, mm, we cannot really do much if they draw so much better than us. I think I could have still won this game by playing the other Kappa Cannoneer, but that's it. By the way, in a few seconds, I will make my second mistake and yeah. So here I will make the second mistake that led to my defeat. I don't know what's up with this client today, but it's really hard to, you know, replace. Okay. 
we draw a Thopter, I make a construct, and I decided to grab a Tormod script here. And that was the second mistake that led to my defeat. Because I wanted to stop my opponent from playing things with Emery, but what they did, which was obvious, is grabbing a Shadow Spear. And that was my defeat. Because they just up one mana, grab the Shadow Spear, you know, trigger the Kappa Cannoneer, equip the Shadow Spear, portable hole, snacking my construct probably. So, third portable hole, while we have nothing. And they even have Lava Spur Boots, that was the problem. So, they, they had Lava Spur Boots from the hand, so triple portable hole, Tormod script, and Lava Spur Boots in hand. Even though I made some mistakes, my opponent's hand was just much stronger than mine. I didn't realize while, while I was playing it that I was just blaming myself for, for my own mistakes. But what I saw was that my opponent was just so far ahead for me, just because of what they draw. Because if I had a portable all, I could have just exiled, I don't know, Shadow Spear and Lava Spear Boots and that was it, basically. So, yes. Upkeep. We draw, of course, another useless land. So this client is completely fucked up. I'm sorry, the quality in this video is not probably the best. What I do is playing, thanks to Emery, another Kappa Cannoneer, I swing, and my opponent gets down to 1, because they were up to 15. I have 13 unblockable damage from here, and I swung with Memnite 2, and with Emery, no, sorry, yeah, with, with Memnite, and yeah, they went down to, they, they blocked here, and yeah. That's what happened, uh, unluckily. So I could have won this game, probably, even though my opponent's hand was just much better than mine. The first mistake was making the Construct instead of playing the Kappa Cannoneer. If I would have played the Kappa Cannoneer, I would have won this game. Second mistake was probably grabbing the Tormod Script instead of the Shadow Spear. With a Shadow Spear equipped, I could have just gain some life and then swing another time with an unblockable Kappa Cannoneer and win the game. So I had some windows to win this game, but I lost. My opponent made it easier to lose, of course, but that's mostly on me, I think. So, yep, let's look at the next game. So I really hope this replay tool uh, will collaborate a few. So what I brought in was just glass baskets and one pithy needle. I didn't brought in consigned to memory because I think that's borderline against mirror. And of course, this tool is not working once more. Sorry about that, guys. By the way, what we saw was a words of tide rage. We're gonna draw with Misha's bubble. Oh gosh, this replay tool. Let's do it like that. It's gonna be a bit sped up, guys, but yeah. I cannot do it in another way. So we just play Emery and we mill an interesting Kappa Cannoneer plus Thought Monitor plus Mishra's Bubble, so which is not bad. What my opponent is doing right now is playing their own Emery, seeing Torbo script once more, <laughs> and that's just insanely good. Luckily, they cannot use that this turn, so we just go Misha's Bubble. Crino Plating, Thoughtcast, we draw a few cards and we pass the turn. We now draw a card off of Bubble and we have an Emery. Our opponent has the first portable all on Crino Plating and they have their own Crino Plating plus your Saga. So, what we can do now is use Emery once more and we name Saga at this point with Beefy Needle because I don't have any other choice and we are open for double metallic rebuke. We had one, two, three, four artifacts, so not enough mana to play the Thought Monitor on the previous turn. And we are open for one metallic rebuke. But my opponent has Emery and they finally play Tormod Script. They commit for a Kappa Cannoneer 
But if I didn't have an answer to Emery, they will play the Kappa Cannoneer once more in their turn. And we don't even have anything in the graveyard right now, so we cannot do anything with Emery. I just play Springleaf Drum, draw two cards, we have another Emery, we fool our graveyard, we play the Shadow Spear with the Emery, and we can now not commit for a Metallic Rebuke. I chose not to, because I want to see what my opponent does. They grab the Shadow Spear, they play the Fat Martyr from the graveyard, they have Drum, Fapter, and now they have a Torment Script online. It's back to us. Of course we draw land, we play another Emery. Opponent gas Torment Script, we swing, and opponent... I shouldn't have, because now opponent can play once more Fat Martyr with Emery. So as you can see, the big difference once more is in my opponent draws. They saw Tormod Script and you the Saga, we didn't. So yes, that was unlucky. They saw double portable hole and we didn't saw a single one in two games, digging two times half of our library. That is just stupid. Now I have a Kappa Cannoneer, which is interesting. We play the Kappa Cannoneer, but the opponent has Rebuke, but we, we do even have Rebuke. Opponent can now go probably Shadow Spear on the Thought Martyr, dealing so much damage. Opponent has so, ma so many cards in a that's insane, double monitor, oh gosh. Equip a swing for a thousand damage. They replay the Torment script just in case, and we're gonna draw something stupid. I thought might or not bad. Trigger. They ha oh, they counter the trigger with consign to memory. We swing. Opponent down to 24, we go up to 15, but opponent has so many ways to. They can perhaps even move the cranial plating to an unblocked creature and kill us. So that's the first and only defeat in this league, spoiler, and comes in a mirror match. And I am sad because I don't think I made many mistakes this game. Probably Piffy Needle on Saga was suspicious. I could have just champ blocked uh, tokens. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments this match here. Um, what were my mistakes and why, in your opinion, I lost and what I could, I could have I done to, to improve my gameplay in this situation? Please let me know in the comments if you have an opinion on this. By the way, let's look forward to match number three. We are on the play again with a super decent hand with Yuta Saga, Springleaf Drum, Kappa Cannoneer and a few other lands. That's probably another mirror. Opponent got triple bubble and no land. That's suspicious. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, I think that's that's most probably a mirror. And opponent conceded. So let me check the chat. Yes, that's mirror. Oh yes, and I said, another mirror? Gosh, what is happening? And my opponent said, the deck is good versus energy. Here we are for the second game against Affinity. We have a pretty similar hand to the first one we had. We have Saga, Double Portable Hole, Spire of Industry, and Wizard Tide Bridge. We have Double Saga, which is not bad, but my opponent has Saga too. I decided to go Emery. But my opponent has a consign to memory, stifling my ability to mill myself. That was a good move, but I think it's a waste of cards. They have an one Otawara, so it's not the same list as mine. I now have Saga online, but my opponent does too. And they create the first construct of this game. It's gonna be a tough battle, probably. 
So opponent makes another construct and they grab a Shadow Spear and they play an Ornithopter. They still have three cards in hand. We are gonna probably... I just, I just take the damage here. And we're gonna create our own construct. We take one mana here. We grab a bubble because we want to draw some cards off of Emery and we instantly exile Shadow Spear. So as you can see, Portable All, whoever has Portable All in this case is very, is in a very good spot against his opponent because Portable All picks all these little interesting things. As you can see, another Portable Hole and they have the Shadow Spear back, but we have another hole in our hand. So we're gonna exile the Shadow Spear on the next turn. So we have the Kappa Cannon here, but my opponent has two very big constructs. I can just chump block them as long as they don't have the Shadow Spear. So we go Fault Monitor, draw a few cards. I have many chump blockers. So at this point, why I didn't attack? Why I didn't attack? So I am down to two. Okay. So if my opponent, if my opponent had another land and a portable hole, I could have died. I, so they could have just pay one life, exile the portable hole, get back the shadow spear, equip the shadow spear swing and I would have been dead so I decided not to risk uh, in, and I decided to stay open just in case so my opponent has double monitor and a lot of artifacts I just easily champ block I can just play the thought monitor once more with Emery if it's needed we grab our own shadow spear opponent we activate Emery and in opponent they exile all of our graveyard. So we play another Kappa Cannon here at this point. Nah, I'd better stay open and counter whatever we might want to counter. Our Kappa Cannon here is just enough to win. We move the Shadow Spear on the Memnite because you never know. And we're still open for Metallic Rebuke. I just want to be safe. As you can see, had they have another all, we cannot allow that. And I conceded. As you can see, my choice to play it safely here was rewarding, as I could counter my opponent's portable hole. And I knew about the hole. Of course, I knew about that because if something can go wrong, it will, it will definitely happen. So that's it. It definitely will go wrong. We won 2-0 against Ruti Tufi. My opponent was um, was a nice player and we chat a bit. And if you're watching this video, Ruti Tufi, thank you for playing against me. Sorry if I defeated you. But sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. So as you can see, the popularity of Affinity is raising because in this league we had me, Ruti Tufi, and the other guy that defeated me before. All playing Affinity, not the same list, but very similar. So Affinity is back, guys. Uh, yeah, on with the next match, I guess. This time we are on the draw. We have to take a mulligan. I decided to keep this hand, even though it's not the best, because we have one draw from the turn and one from the bubble. Upon the guess, Highland Preordain? That's suspicious. Is it Demir once more? They have a Force of Negation on top. We flew the board with little artifacts, even if they are not very useful. We draw a Springleaf Drum, by the way. They have Psychic Frog, but luckily we have the Portable Hole, which I love. Oh, Force of Negation. I knew about that, by the way. Emery. So they cannot... Oh, ah, uh, yeah, the exile, for some negation, exiles, right? So they swing with the frog and I take the damage. I take the damage. Another Springleaf Drum. I don't like that. 
So Emery on Kappa Kandanir. We try to play that since my opponent doesn't have card as well. And the Kandanir resolves. It's not bad. Bow Masters. Okay. They swing. And so at this point I made a choice. I don't know what happened, but my opponent had a 1-2 Psychic Frog attacking me. And they had four cards in hand. So if they wanted to kill my my Kappa Khan on your 5-5, they would have had... They must have discarded all the cards in their hand. What my opponent did was discarding a spell snare and the frog just died. So I don't know what happened there. He probably misclicked or I don't know. He now plays a big Merc Tide. Oh, br probably it was the pl that was the plan. I, I don't know. By the way, I can just play a Crown of Plating. Equip that and swing for 16 damage. I don't think my opponent can really do anything about this. I don't want to crack the bubble and draw some cards because of Archish Bow Masters, but I can do that next turn to give Kappa Cannoneer unblockable, if that's the case. My opponent conceded and that's weird what he just did with Psychic Frog. Maybe he's playing the Unearth version with a Boron Toculus and he wanted to be able to cast a big Merc Tide by discarding the Spell Snare. But why attacking though? It wasn't necessary. I don't know. Maybe my opponent just fucked up. Uh, by the way, we won on with the next game. Let's take a look at the sideboard. By the way, we keep this hand. So I think I brought out two Memnites because they, you know, they died to Bow Master. And I brought in Glass Casket to exile whatever we might want to exile. I don't know, Plague Frog, Archish Bow Masters, or whatever. So they have a frog, and this time we don't have an, a real answer. We go Emery and they go Sabalty. Things. Aren't looking great at this time. We put Emery on top. And they have a consigned to memory. Okay. I I mean that's good, but not incredibly good against Affinity. So I'm glad that they have consigned to memory, I guess. So we have a saga. I play another Emery. They go consigned to memory. That's okay. That's okay. I I mean, I don't really care if you consign to memory. On an Emery trigger, I already have two bubbles. So what was the point? They swing, we make the construct. Opponent kills the construct, and I'm oh, I'm okay with that. I mean, yeah, they still get to draw their card, but that's okay. -ish. Nihil spell bomb. I don't particularly like that, but I think it might be okay. We're gonna make a construct and we're gonna look for something, probably a piffy needle on Psychic Frog. We want to play the bubble and the opponent allows that. Okay, that's crazy. And we are now open for Metallic Rebuke while the Psychic Frog can no longer fly. Opponent has a consider. And they pass the turn. I'm not going to crack the bubble because I want to be able to cast Rebuke whenever I need to. We make another construct. We grab the Tormod script probably. So opponent cannot play uh, a Merc Tide anytime soon. We got Portable All on the Frog. It resolves. That's good. We swing for 11 damage. Opponent is cooked, I think. Well, they were mana screwed. No double blue. No nothing. I just cracked the Tormo script and I go Mishra's Bubble. And the opponent conceded. We are... Is it 3-1 already? Yes, we are 3-1 in this league. And that was so easy. All the matches we won were 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. Yeah, 0-2 oh, because we lost to Affinity, but... Affinity beat us, so that proves that Affinity is a good deck, doesn't it? Well, on, on the final match of this league. 
Okay, so we are once more on the play. We have Drum, Bubble, and Emery, which is great. Opponent Harid Meza. Mm, that's scary. No Giganta. Teferi. Oh no, is it control? Gosh. So I tried to play the Piffy Needle. Opponent let me resolve it, so I named Arid Meza. And I just conceded because they find out that <laughs> they thought that I would probably name the fairy. But I just decided to play Arid Mesa. It was too just too good not to do it. So if you think of it in, in terms of mana efficiency, normally to kill the one land you need to pay at least two mana. In magic, sinkhole, two black mana, you destroy target land. In this case, committing just one mana was enough to kill the arid mesa my opponent had into play and all the mesa he might have in his hand and into his deck. So that was the right commitment to do. Because my opponent let me. He didn't crack the Mesa in response, so I could have just named Me Mesa, and that was it. Now we had two artifacts into the battlefield. My opponent would have done nothing. Back to us, we could have just Memnite and play Bubble once more, probably. And we had one, two, three, four artifacts, and yeah, that was it. Draw with the Bubble, pass the turn. And on the ne very next turn, we could have just slammed the thought monitors and draw infinite cards. So that was an unlucky, I must have did lucky, but easy win. On with the next game. So, since this was probably control, I boarded some things, but I think I misplayed because they, of course, are playing the one ring. And I didn't play it consigned to memory, but only Force of Vigor. And I brought out Thoughtcast, Memnite, and Ornithopter. Four Force of Vigors and one more Peefy Needle, to name the One Ring, of course. And I let Portable Hole in, which is probably such a bad choice. I should have just four Portable Hole out and consigned to Memory and Thoughtcast in, probably. Or, yeah, Glass Casket against Flage. So I made a few mistakes here because, you know, whenever I play MTG, I'm so distracted by my two screens and sometimes shit happens. So now we have a metallic rebuke. If my opponent wants to commit and play the one ring, I hope they do, but they don't. So I can probably just sack the bubble. Nah, better not to. I can try to play a podcast though, and there we Counterspell it? Force of negation? Whoa, bro. You're afraid of a single goddamn podcast? So they can now play Flage. Yes, they do, because they commit and play Solitude. Exiling the Ornithopter, and they go Flage. I think we should Metallic Rebuke here. Yes, probably. Flage, yeah, we must rebuke that. I mean, Flage is a very good card. It can easily come back from the graveyard. Island, not what I wanted, but I can crack the bubble finally. They have Tamiyo on top, so portable all in the hand will matter. So we are faking now that we have another rebuke. If my opponent draws a one ring, we are dead. Tamiyo, that's okay. We have double portable hole. Bubble, not bad. We firstly play the bubble and see what happens. We go portable hole, exiling Tamiyo. We try to play the photo monitor and that hits a counter spell. We see an island on the top of my opponent library. So they only have two useful cards. Not the one ring, please. Okay. I love that. Memnite, not what I wanted, but I mean, I mean, wait, wait. 
I can equip Lava Spur Boots and Cranial Plating on the Memnite. And swing for 7 damage. No, not bad. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a Solitude. Oh, gosh. They exile Emery and block the Memnite. That's a nice 2 for 1. They only have one, one card, two cards now. Flooded Strand, Lenin Binding on the Portable Hole, and they have Tamiyo, but we have another Portable Hole. <laughs> Surprise! And the Saga, that's a nice top deck. A Saga, that's really nice. And, his name is John and they finally Cena. find the One Ring. Okay, that's scary. And here comes the Rebuke, of course, one turn too late. I should have equipped. No. I, I have Rebuke. So Flage can come in a matter of seconds. They have another Flage. Okay. We let this Flage resolve. We let my opponent exile this Flage to play the other Flage and we just Rebuke that. And on next turn we grab a Piffy Needle on the One Ring. And that's it. Yes, that's the wisest thing we can do. So, should I create another token here? Yeah. Oh, and we drew the one ring. Oh, uh, sorry, the Piffy Needle. <laughs> that's unfortunate. I think I'm still grabbing the needle, by the way. And I will have another one as backup. I equip the other construct with Lava Spur Boots and Swing. Opponent is down to five. Three cards in hand. Cannot draw with the, the ring. Flage. Okay. And his name is Another John ring. Singer. Yeah. Know about that. Okay. We have another rebuke. We play another Piffy Needle on the one ring just in case they have Prismatic Ending. Supreme Verdict. Okay, opponent. Not bad. I just need another creature. That's a Kappa Cannon here. Should be enough. That should be enough. I'm tapping everything so I can equip with Lava Spur Boots and Cranial Plating and swing for the win, guys. That's a 4 1 in my first Affinity League after many months. I think I played one with like Black Affinity that was a 3 2 in MH3, but that wasn't not nearly exciting. But this 4 1 here, even though we just faced we just faced one tire deck, which is Demir, uh I think this deck demonstrates his power here with Metallic Rebuke, Force of Negation. You know, it's very likely an eight cast from the legacy format. Go check it out on MTG Goldfish. The name of the deck is Eight Cast. Um I think this resembles an eight cast more than an affinity, a traditional affinity deck. And even though I prefer to, you know, slam creatures with affinity without paying mana and drawing cards under Beanstalk, I think this is the right way to use Kappa Cannon here so far. Also, Portable Hall is a very good card. We'll talk about this in conclusions. Thank you for staying with me. So, as I said, this was a 4-1. What about the deck? I think that we don't really have much room for deck building the here because it's very likely almost perfect so far because we have interaction in terms of metallic rebuke and portable hole we, we have, have one piffy needle one tormo script four sagas to grab that an incredible beater in kappa cannoneer which is mostly our only way to win the game the cranial plating which is essentially very good i would love a one mana cranial plating though and that would be very cool to grab with Saga. Uh, and you know, well, the other cards are Lava Spur, uh, Shadow Spear, whatever, Memnites. And also Emery plus Mitra's Bubble is very good. I would love one more thing to grab with Emery, like, I don't know, Pirate Spellbomb instead of one Portable Hole perhaps. But the Portable Hole is just too good against uh, Psychic Frog. As for the sideboard, I think the only thing that I don't really like is Damping Sphere, because even against the Dradzis, it's not that great. So I think we might want to, let's say, 
cut one damping sphere plus one relic of progenitus and i don't know cut one glass casket and plus one consigned to memory maybe i'm just too afraid of eldrazi's i should do some more test by the way guys as i was saying last time this time we made it and we are past the 1000 subscribers and that's insanely good and i cannot thank you enough even in a thousand videos so thank you so much let me know in the comments what do you think about this affinity deck and if you would like me to play this again in a league anytime soon uh, i will probably still do so but if you want me to pass the results of me playing affinity once more and well i think that's all for today i had a lot of fun playing affinity even though we had two mirrors which is <laughs> so crazy and it's not staged i swear to you it's not staged but we had two affinity mirrors i never faced affinity in months and now that i want to make an affinity video we are you know having two mirrors in a single league by the way the deck fed pretty solid and i am very happy i made a video about it and thank you for staying with me and see you in the next video guys very soon